And we are back with the CRL B stream here at the CCA. I am Vaudible. Joining me for the Western portion of the stream. We are in the West Conference now. We had two Eastern matches. Is hunted. And uh, we have a pretty interesting matchup. Why don't you intro it for us and tell us a little bit about these teams? Yeah, so we've got uh, UCSB or Santa Barbara, as I'm sure we'll call them throughout the night. And uh, Mizzou going to be facing off here in the first game of the Western Conference games we've got going on tonight. Uh, UCSB, I believe this is their first game that they've played True. all season. So first look at them. Uh, not the same can be said for Missouri as they have played three times. They've lost all three games. But uh, as you and I have discussed uh, earlier on this evening, they've played the three of the top four in the West in LSU, uh, Nebraska and North Texas. The only top four team they're missing is Arizona, which I'm sure they'll get around to soon. So we'll see how Mizzou comes out to play against the team. Not quite in the top four. Um, but a bit of an unknown quantity in UCSB. That's exactly it, Hunted. They have played these top dogs of the Western Conference for all of their matches so far, and they haven't done terribly against them. Uh, they got really close against UNT the other night, 2-3. to three. They were almost able to take the victory there. The biggest thing that we really saw from Mizzou is that they kind of had some defensive errors. As long as they don't have as many as we saw earlier on in the broadcast, I feel like they'll be yeah. pretty strong against UCSB. But it's going to be very interesting how UCSB will either show up or not in this first series on stream and in the season uh, of the league play. Because this is 16 teams in the Western Conference, only eight make it to the playoffs. So we'll see exactly Who's going to come out on top? If it's going to be Mizzou, if it's going to be UCSB, want to hear you all cheering for your favorite teams in chat. But uh, we got some great rosters here as well, Hunted. And actually, uh, another kind of interesting little fact about this Mizzou team is that uh, they have this will be their fourth game they've played. And all four of these games will have been the first game of the CRL for their opponents. <laughs> if that makes if that makes sense. So yeah, LSU, Nebraska, and North Texas started their season against Mizzou, and now UCSB does the very same. So Mizzou, they're kind of the uh, welcoming squad, if you will, of the CRL, at least in the West. Let's see if they can find their first win here. They are in blue, Chucks Blanks, and Ethanol, who can't quite get up to that touch. There's, uh, I believe, that was Viking on the goal. Yes, a good play out in the mid so viking introducing himself to us early for ucfb yeah and viking's been around the block quite some time and he's been doing great work in the crl season from what we've seen uh him and his team are looking to make this debut a strong one looking for a 3-0 but want to make sure that shots like that don't get as close as they did to the actual goal there's a chance here from chucks he might have a good follow from ethanol but not going to be enough for Mizzou to really come out swinging and tie things up within the first minute so far. Just to fully introduce the UCSB roster in orange, Viking, Gerardo, and Inliner. Making their CRL appearance, first CRL appearance in Season 4. Ethanol takes a shot towards the goal. There's Viking to turn him away, and he's going to clear this one. Back out towards mid, blanks over to Chox. Great shot, good save by Yinliner though. Ethanol now up for it, looking for the touchdown towards Gerardo, but will be cleared off the back wall. Vikings still here, trying to make something happen on the blue side, Ooh. almost. Snuck that one in near post, but he couldn't quite get around it. Might be a good opportunity here. But instead, Yinliner, he didn't really want to overcommit on that play. They'd rather go back for another pass at their own side. And now there's a chance for Viking to leave that up for Gerardo. See if he can have any luck on offense. But we're seeing some good defense so far from Mizzou after that first goal was scored. They're preventing any open opportunities for UCSB. So 
they just need to transition out of their own side and get forward on offense as quickly as possible and they'll be able to put on more pressure as they're currently well they were currently they were previously after i said that uh tied in shots now it's three shots for uh chocks and one for blanks blanks gets another one sneaks over all three defenders great pass from chocks off the back wall that's going to be the first goal of the game of the series for Mizzou, and that ties us up at 1 to 43. And I have noticed for UCSB, their uh, rotation has been quite wide, kind of defensive uh, as far as that goes. You always see somebody kind of hanging out uh, towards the backside of the pitch, trying to not allow those long clears from Mizzou to uh, endanger their net at all. And you can see right here, just look at the space that Blanks has to clear this ball away. And then Viking, you mentioned it right there, and he's just patiently waiting for that ball to come straight to him. But Chucks, he might have an opportunity. Actually baited out one. Instead, it is going to go to the opposite end. Blanks now with a pass of his own. Ethanol getting bumped around by Yinliner, making it much harder for them to get any of these challenges. And this is some good preventative defense that we're seeing out of UCSB, making sure that they can get on those clears. But the miss there will open up an opportunity for Blanks. So that's going to get a double commit out of the defense there could be a follow-up here might be all they need but again viking has been coming in clutch on defense there's blanks one more time and just to to the point of playing defense sometimes you you uh can do that to good effect but other times if you hang back too much you give so much space to the enemy team they can start using that to their advantage as blanks looking for ethanol it's exactly the space that I'm talking about. They can find each other in mid because there's nobody challenging those initial passes as Blanks almost gets the pinch to the top corner. One just hits the crossbar and out. So now, minute 15, all that remains in regulation time. It's 1-1. Finally, USB, oh, USCB clear the zone. I said USCB. Man, that is going to be <laughs> UCSB. <laughs> it's the whole American thing, but it happens sometimes. <laughs> we always see the US and everything, but that doesn't really matter too much. What does is this opportunity wow, for Chuck. He's able to get the follow-up and the defense floundered there. We saw two members go towards that corner and on the back wall. Didn't really seem to have a grasp on the situation. And then it was Mizzou able to capitalize and all that pressure they had before eventually was able to lead in it to that one goal advantage they have now. They'd love to make it a two goal lead if they possibly can. There's only 45 seconds left, so trying to stall is also a valid tactic as Chox now trying to take a shot and Miner makes the play. There's Blanks, actually he leaves it for it. Oh, oh beautiful! The corner, don't know if that was intentional fake from Blanks, but it pulled the defense away and that's a great shot, 3-1. I'd say that was as close to as intentional as it could have been. He knew he wasn't going to get there in time, especially with how slow the ball was rolling. And I'm sure his teammate called him off as well. So maybe the defenders weren't really in the right position to even fall for that fake. It didn't really matter, though, because his teammate was there, able to get that two-goal lead less than 30 seconds now. It's all on at UCSB to try and come back. 17 on the clock. Gerardo looking for a pass out in front. The inliner's going to get demoed. Viking towards the goal. It's cleared away by Blanks. We're in the final 10 now. The inliner down the pitch just has a chance. He, uh, Ethanol gets up to make the play. That should just about kill it for game one. This who takes an early 1 0 lead in the series. And again, Vaudible, we talk about the defense, and it was such a wide rotation from yeah. UCSB. I don't think I can <laughs> emphasize that enough. The amount of space that was given to Mizzou was unreal. I mean, the number of times Blanks and Chalks just kind of had easy clears or they just uh, controlled the ball looking for a passing play was a little bit too many if I'm the coach for UCSB. They kind of left it all on the back of Viking on defense, and he was able to do a solid job at that, but when... As you mentioned, they had that much space to work with. Mizzou capitalized on it, and they were in their element. They were able to get all the pressure going on offense, get the rebounds, kept it consistent as well to make sure that 
they didn't have to transition transition back to their own side as often because of those wide rotations. And that was to the downfall of UCSB. After that first goal, it was all Mizzou all day. Yeah, I mean, that really did feel like a bit of a turning point as um, after they did score that goal, it really felt like they got their confidence on the offensive side. I mean, a lot of shots generated yeah. from the blue half. <laughs> um, so I would not expect them to change anything up. It's working for them. Might as well keep it going. What I would like to see is Santa Barbara start to attack a little bit more, be a little bit faster, try to play up in mid a bit more instead of hanging back and waiting for the play to come to them. We'll have to see in game two of this best of five if they can achieve that. Viking starting off with a solid shot, but blocked by Ethanol towards that backboard. Gerardo can't even get up in time to prevent opportunity from blanks. Good bump, a good demo, but not enough to maintain possession as a solid pinch will lead to it going towards the corner of the blue half. Chucks, he's going to send it off to Blanks, but Viking down to Yinliner again. Oh, not enough for them to get the advantage here in game two. I'm not sure if Yinliner made the save on that ball. It looks like he was going for a bump. Either way, it winds up out of the goal, and all three <laughs> players combining to clear that ball away for Santa Barbara. 4.15 to go. We have still knotted up at zero. Game number two of this best of five. Zoo with the one game lead as this falls all the way across the pitch for Blanks to try to control and clear. Gets by the first attacker. There's the inlaner to keep it in. You can already see a little bit more activation, but again, a lot of respect for these Mizu players from the side in orange. When you give them that amount of time, you give them that much respect, they're going to make you pay for it, Bob. We saw the exact same thing happen in game one. There almost is not. There was an opportunity there. They squandered the opportunity for the save as well. Viking sending that off to Chucks. Great reception from him. Down to Ethanol. Not enough for Yinliner to get in the way. And we basically called it as it was happening. <laughs> we'll see how Santa Barbara decides to respond. First 90 seconds of the game have expired now. And then all towards the back wall, he finds himself and his teammates up a goal in game number two. They would like to expand on that if possible. Been in the offensive zone for quite a while and now they'll have to retreat and play defense for the moment as Gerardo play some attack. There's Viking to keep the ball down. Blanks gets bombed, Chox is there to help out. He'll go around the defenders. Gerardo now blanks to Chox. Chox oh. towards the net. Just tips the crossbar. Yeah, Ethanol waiting in mid for a pass. To, opted to shoot. What? Ethanol back what? towards the front. The inliner doesn't get there in time. And again, Mizu, they just find a way to put it in the back of the net. Keep taking shots on goal. They'll go in. It seems that Viking is the centerpiece of their defense, and when he isn't in position on that goal line, they don't have an answer to Mizzou on offense. We saw Yinliner twice in a row now with those two goals. Now here comes Ethanol again for a hat trick. Three for three on shots and goals. He is popping off, and that was a great read by him off the backboard. And again, the defense wide open for UCSB. Need to secure their side of the pitch first, certainly. At least stop the bleeding against this Mizzou team. If they want any hope of coming back in this game. Seth and all to clear away, Gerardo. Oh, look at, I, there was no challenge at all. All three of them are on the back line and almost goes in anyway. <laughs> I, I just, I'm surprised you don't see the style of play from players of this caliber. They're just waiting and watching, and that is not going to win you a game of Rocket League against a team like Mizzou. You can't afford to be reactionary on defense. You have to prevent any options from coming towards your goal line. And we see a wide clear. They did have someone back this time, but he's not really able to get as much control as he would like. But there's a good clear. Inliner on four. Follow him. He's going to bait him out, but not enough to secure their first goal in game two. 
But again, we've seen some potential out of UCSB, just not enough for it to lead to anything. But there it is. That's going to 100% go in off the, the line as it has just been dangling in the faces of UCSB. They're finally able to grab it. This one really comes down to Mizzou getting bunched up in that corner for so very long. They had so many players right around the ball, nobody with a, a lot of boost or at least enough boost to do anything important with it. That eventually leads to Santa Barbara's first goal here of the game. Brings them back to within two and they have minute 30 to try to find them. Ethan All will make it three yet again. A solid deflection. He gets his fourth of the game. And they keep they keep sending these booming shots away from their own end to desperately try and clear it out instead of maintaining possession, grounding it in the midfield, and taking it forward from there for potential setups. And if you're UCSB, you really need to get out of that bad habit that they've been in. Now there's a double commit there that both of them missed, so they still aren't able to get anything out of the mistakes we're seeing from Mizzou here on the defensive end. Just gonna sit around in mid. Gerardo does get up to it. Shocks, easy play away on his own goal line. Final 60 seconds. Back wall. Slight touch from Shocks. can't get by Gerardo. Got inliner across the pitch, opts for the shot, and it goes in. Goal line defense not working out for Mizzou that time, and we're back within two. With 48 seconds, and the potential we've seen out of UCSB is all but in, like, it's basically a close bet that they can bring it back, but we really haven't seen enough out of them to guarantee this is gonna go to an overtime, especially with a minute remaining of play like blanks shocks and ethanol have been too consistent on offense but now they're starting to falter we are seeing a few double commits on offense but that's going to lead to a goal there we go now they're within one 32 seconds on the clock as gerardo puts another one through yeah, i do have to appreciate your uh interesting selection of words to make sure that you don't uh, curse the teams. I do appreciate it. Yes. I, I didn't want to say it's like, it's not possible. It's possible, but it's in a weird gray area right now. But now it's as close as it can be for them to bring this back under 30 seconds. The inliner keeping that one up. Gerardo with a Ooh. great shot, but an amazing save from Ethanol. And we're in the final 12 seconds now. That was a wonderful save on the goal line. Keep his team ahead by one. The inliner has to play it. Final five. Gerardo was trying to get the boost. He didn't end up picking it up. Gives the ball away. But the inliner is up to make this touch. Viking last man back. Gets bumped. That will be it. Mizzou takes a one goal game victory here. Now moves to match point in the series. And again, we approach potentially the third sweep <laughs> of the night. It wouldn't be... College Carball, CCA without some sweeps. <laughs> and what a way to start off the CRLB stream then. Potentially having three here and maybe four, depending on how the next one goes tonight. But the way that Mizzou have been showing the offensive prowess that they have with all the shots from Ethanol, four for four, every single goal that game was from him. And... Half of them weren't even assisted by his teammates. It's great to see the performance he's able to bring out. We really were looking at chalks for the rest of the series that they have played up to this point. So now that he's able to step up, I feel like this is the team they're going to be throughout the rest of the weeks of this round robin bracket play. And if they can keep that up, there's no stopping them because they've already gone through three of the top four teams in the Western side. And, you know, I, I I know that it is something that we've said many, many times uh, just in this series alone. Uh, but you have a team that gives these players so much space. Like, Ethan All, yes, he, he struggled in those earlier series. But he's come back to play so very well in this one. And, I again, I think it's because his teammates, specifically Chalks, and even blanks as well they have so much room to make those touches and 
Ethanol is capitalizing on them, right? He is the guy that's finishing off the plays, and he has the space to do that. When you look at the teams that they played recently, uh, LSU in, in particular, they're so aggressive, so fast to the ball. There's never any space on the pitch for them. <laughs> it's a completely different game, and they're totally making the most of it. And that's what we'll continue to see against these teams that give them that space. So if we see UCSB get back into this match and make sure that they tighten up their rotation, their defense, their offense, keep up the possession and pressure, not sending these booming clears away to the other end because they aren't even following those booming clears up either. They're just desperate for boost to get out of their own half and hope for the best. And you can't really hope for too much if you're wanting to get the victory and now a reverse sweep is what they need for that victory of their debut here on the CRLB stream and in the fall season in general. Well, looks like game number three just about to get underway so we're going to have to see what changes uh, do Santa Barbara bring to the table for game three. Um, they, they find themselves backs against the wall with a Missouri team who's played well in the first two games. They've capitalized on the, the uh, opportunities they've had. It's now going to be UCSB to maintain proper defensive positioning. Don't give away too many opportunities, especially early on. Capitalize on the ones that you get. But that is much easier said than done, Bottable really is going to come down to how they play. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And afford to give Ethanol that kind of space. Blanks was able to open it up, but it was all off that hit from Gerardo, who basically left it wide open. Not the greatest of touches. Might have been better to back off on that challenge and leave it for his teammate who was behind him. But sometimes you just got to react when the ball comes towards you and it deflected in the exact wrong spot for them. Viking, he's able to come back though, tie things up, and now we're starting to see more life out of UCSB. This is just a great play from Viking. He gets up to this ball so early, doesn't give Blanks any chance at all to get to that. As you said, we t are tied up very, very early on in game number three. This next goal is going to be very important. I think Santa Barbara need to secure the the lead in this game as early as they can. Really put Mizu on the back foot. Because so far in this series, it has really only been Missouri with the lead, and and they are playing so confident because of it. We almost saw an opportunity there for Chox with the inliner. He's just going to dribble this one all the way home over top of the last defender, and this is what we expected to see out of UCSB. We saw Gerardo going for the play to take out Ethanol, and it worked out as efficiently as it could possibly, and they're able to get their first lead, I believe, in this series. And you don't even need to make the bump or the demo for that play to be effective. No. Gerardo chases him to the back wall. It's perfect for his teammate inliner to put that one home so they get the goal that we thought was all important and we'll see how they play with the lead there's still a lot of time left though Vaughn. only a minute and a half has been uh, played thus far especially with the demos coming out but there's one in the favor of the inliner that opens it up for gerardo he's gonna have to drop that one off for viking ethanol not able to break past his own half chocks will give it a go Succeeds in that effort, almost underneath one. Gerardo couldn't quite get the touch he wanted. Ethanol uh -oh. is going to send that right towards that net, and that'll be open for the inliner again, three to one. Yeah, this is an ill-advised touch. Although he has to make some kind of play. The inliner was waiting. He, he has that deflection every day of the week. Yep. But just some poor positioning that time from the Missouri defense, and they pay for it. Now they go down two in this game. Could this be the turning point that Santa Barbara was looking for? Might be just that. Yinliner, especially two for two. Looking for another opportunity in the cherry picker position. But got bumped out of the way. Chucks desperately trying to break this out of their own. And there's some space, but not the connection. And will instead go back for another setup. Viking. 
leave this one up to Ethanol, who's trying to pursue it as much as he can, but he's going to take it anyway. Chucked. Rips it out of his clutches. Viking, he's still not giving up on offense. I feel this is exactly what we need to see from him, making sure they keep possession up on the blue half of the field, forcing these errors out of them on defense as well. Those double commits didn't really capitalize on it, but they don't quite need to with a two-goal lead. But there's one from Ethanol. That's going to sneak by and bring them within one. This is a, just a great shot from Ethanol. He wins that challenge against the inliner. See his Vikings in a difficult spot, and he hits it hard towards the near post. Great shot. Gets his second goal of the game, and he's continuing his goal-scoring ways. Had all four for Mizu in game two. He's got two, the, both of their goals now in this one. <laughs> We'll see if he keeps that trend up and needs to score at least one more to tie us up here in this game. Only two minutes left to go. Chalk's looking for an opportunity. Off his heart off the top of his car and Gerardo does make the play to clear it away. Back and all now down for Chalk's. Into the corner, there's Viking. Off the ceiling is Chalk's! He makes the play, but he doesn't get the... the the power that he needed on the touch to find the back of the net. It was a wonderful attempt from Chox. Ooh. It doesn't go in, and then nearly they get punished for that attempt as well. He continue to play a one-goal game, minute 25. Another double commit by the Mizzou defense there, but we haven't seen many opportunities for UCSB to capitalize. There's a great touch by Chox, but he's still not able to sneak it on by. Instead, need to desperately break out of their own end. Great Falling pass. back into Ooh. position of how they were in the first two games. And this lead is very fickle at this point. With only one minute remaining, there is a chance for Yinliner. He can't keep the angle he needs to strike it towards the net. Instead, going to have to leave this up for his teammates to try and maintain possession near midfield. But again, Blanks towards that backboard. Shocks has a shot. That one's going to go wide. A good clear over the inliner who can't get the reception. Now Gerardo looking to challenge Blanks. is going to fall down in front. Chox can't get the clear. Ooh. Ethanol makes the save, but Viking oh, comes no. over the top. He'll get his second of the game. And with 31 seconds to go, this one's looking a bit out of reach for Mizzou. The bump from Blanks onto Ethanol. He could not stop in time, ran out of boost, and was just caught in a terrible position. Great follow through by UCSB, but they need more than that. There's a couple of chances right here. There's one to tie, oh, to bring it in one, almost tie it up. They just need one solid shot after this. Viking, fortunately, could not get that far enough away, and Gerardo also went up for that one. 25 seconds remaining. Four, three, kickoff, so very important for Mizzou. Goes over the head of ethanol but he does end up turning around to play this ball goes over top of yin liner here's an opportunity blanks up back wall down in front Chucks no! the post. ethanol's still there and he's trying to make something happen with this down in front chox is waiting gets it by yin liner now only five seconds blanks off the back wall chox towards ethanol can't get by biking but it's still in the air blanks gets bumped that'll do it and chox had the goal Woo! to tie the game on his bumper. He hits the post, and we're going to see a game four. That's got to feel terrible for Chox. The moment he was waiting for, the stars had aligned. He just was not able to get the connection he wanted. Too much power behind it. Also a little bit too early on that attempt. And again, he's going to be feeling that one, especially if... UCSB, Santa Barbara, if they're able to come back in this next one and bring it to a game five. But we finally have a series here, Hunted, <laughs> and it's going to be a good one, especially after what we saw from this team. Viking really stepping it up. Defense, offense, you name it, he's got it. And Yin Liner, those two goals were what the difference maker was. Yeah, I think it was a team effort this time from Santa Barbara. It looked like they were playing a different game. It it just it looked like they were a little bit faster, maybe a bit more confident with their touches, and it turned into actual offense that they could use to capitalize on the opportunities they were given. 
Granted, there were a couple of terrible misplays on both oh, yeah. sides <laughs> on the defensive half, so we want to see both of those teams clean that up, certainly. But it looks pretty even going into game four, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to say that Santa Barbara has the momentum now. Especially after that last game. They got so close to it coming back to a tie game time and time again, and they were just able to overcome adversity. Now there's going to be even more, especially after the first goal from Ethanol. He has been so consistent with these follow-ups, blanks time and time again, hitting it off the backboard or the back wall, set his teammate up. It's just cut and dry, a solid goal for Mizzou. Ethanol has certainly had a nose for the net tonight. He has put in goal after goal, and he's got to continue to do it now if Mizu wants their first series win of this young CRL season. They're one game away against Santa Barbara. Can they cap it off? Got an early lead. Only some 30 seconds in. It's 1-0. Here comes the attack from Santa Barbara. Great cut. Chox opts to go for boost. Actually, he's going to leave it there. Looks for the pass in front. Gerardo will clear and now starts a counterattack of his own, but Blanks is there to break that up and win the challenge as well. Solid plays from Mizzou now to make sure that they keep the ball in the orange half. We've seen Chox do that a couple of times. It's a great tool to use to keep that ball in, especially on these long clears. It's always been going off the wall, onto the ceiling, and connecting with those plays in midfield. Now here's Viking patiently waiting on defense. There might be enough power, but there is not the follow-up from the third man in blanks. You could tell that Mizzou aren't as confident as they were on offense. They would normally send all three up in a rotation, but they know that UCSB, if they are given space, like how they were giving Mizzou space in the first two games, they are also eager to capitalize on it. I'm just a little afraid for Santa Barbara right now. It looks like they're falling back into that rotation we saw out of the first couple of games. Like the, either they're nervous or, or since they're playing from behind, they don't want to fall further behind. But it's a lot of defense now. You see taking so long to get to this ball. Ethanol just has a clear angle at the net. Inliner does go up to make the play. Gerardo will clear. Let's see, Vaudible, how they decide to forecheck this play. Yeah, Chucks all the way over to Blanks. Not really the greatest clear there, but Ethanol, he's been always able to step up when his team has needed him. And seeing those wide rotations, I thought that wasn't going to go in. It shouldn't have gone in. I was basically ready for the play to end, but instead, Blanks, Ethanol, and Chucks in a bad spot. Chucks Barely missing that, didn't have the boost to work with either, and Viking is going to be thanking his lucky stars for that one. So it is 1-1 as we approach halftime in game four. Gerardo over to Yinliner, hard shot. I was going wide. Chucks blocks it anyway. Now Viking rotates back. He's looking for Yinliner to clear. Actually going to play this off the back wall himself. Is right to blanks. Chalks gets bumped, Ooh. but he gets there anyway. Great recovery from Chalks. It's 2 1. That speed on offense from Chalks with a great read. Somehow able to tank that bump from Gerardo and push it through. Could not get the clear or the angle they needed to scoop that out of the net. So great work being put in by Mizzou. This might be all they need to take the victory, their first series win in CRL fall season, but they still have to worry about UCSB if they're able to break out of their own end. Blanks slow bounce towards the end, and it is worth mentioning that goal was really set up by the fact Ooh. I'm not going to even be able to get to explain, but... <laughs> now I'll leave that to you. Why, why don't you explain <laughs> what, how this goal was set up here, specifically? Well, this one was just a good pass off the back wall. Beautiful touch from, uh, I believe it was Chox, beats his man to the ball. Um, but yeah. it's just from UCSB, the, the second goal was really just a rush on the defensive end. He had Yinliner in the corner ready to clear with him. But unfortunately, they just decided that Viking was going to take it off the back wall. They give away possession of the ball. And when you're sitting so far back that you're relying on these touches to find the clears, if you give that away, it's an easy goal. 
especially if you lose the challenges as well. And we saw it happen a few times on defense. But now here's a good a pass, pass back. And there's the wow. finish from Gerardo. One, two, three. And that is one goal remaining within the tie game for these two teams. Perfectly executed and probably the best passing play we have seen from this team tonight. I mean, if your offense is having a little bit of a slow night, a nice give and go can certainly revitalize things as it did there and now they're back within one we'll see if they can find it got 92 seconds as you can all takes the shot all three players were pushed up can Viking get there he does the inliner gets the demo but Viking oh. out in front that is a very close call from Mizzou they should certainly be thanking their lucky stars they didn't get scored on right there and the game being tied up at three just as easily been a tie game right there but they the UCSB team needs a little bit more than that they need a solid opportunity but all three members on Mizzou are ready and waiting on the defensive end they know they can't give them the space that UCSB were comfortable with in the last game and the mistake that Mizzou made was giving them all that room to breathe now they are suffocating them on the defensive end, making sure that they go for any opportunity that is open to them, even if it won't lead to a goal. As long as they can keep it out of their side, with 33 seconds remaining, they are going to get that win 3-1 to one against UCSB. Blanks around front. He demos Viking as well. Time is ticking off the clock for Santa Barbara. Now Chalk's just going to waste time. <laughs> oh my goodness. And he wins the challenge. Why not? Chalk's wasting about 10 seconds by himself. As Gerardo's going to play it out of the corner. He's got to worry about blanks. Goes over top of ethanol, but Chalks makes the clear. The inliner towards the front. Blanks the final clear. Can they get the ball on the ground? He will do it. That is Mizzou winning the series 3-1. And they finally, finally find their first win in the CRL Season 4. GG's all around, but I have to give my hat off that I'm not really wearing right now. But if I was, it would have a Mizzou <laughs> logo on it at least, especially with Chalks. The way he was able to keep that up in the air at the end is what won them that game. There was perfect opportunities for UCSB to transition onto offense and catch them off guard, especially with Chalks not having a single chance to get back to his end, but he just kept it up. Viking wasn't even able to challenge until much later, wasting those 10 seconds, and then he even kept in their side after that. There was nothing that UCSB could do there to come back. I mean, that's kind of what the series was in a nutshell, right? I mean, you see a Mizu player doing whatever he wants with the ball and three UCSB players watching him do it. And uh, again, <laughs> yeah. it, it, that's just how it felt. It, it Game three was a different game in UCSB not giving them space. All three other games that Mizzou won, it's just they didn't, it felt like they weren't playing against attackers. They had clears whenever they wanted to clear the ball on, on defense. They had passing lanes. They had angles to their teammates and they used them. Mizzou was a good team. Despite their 0-3 start, they are a very quality team. And you can't, again, you cannot give them that space. And it just, it felt like Santa Barbara figured that out way too late. So we'll see Santa Barbara, whenever they have their next matchup, if they can correct the mistakes that they had here. But we are going to get into our last matchup of the night after a short little break. That one is going to be University of Texas Arlington versus the University of Nebraska. That's going to be a great matchup. I'm sure a lot of people have some thoughts about that, so let us know in the chat. But in the meantime, we will take a break and be right back with some more CRLB stream action here at College Carball.